thank you guys. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your time. And uh, actually, we're going to have today's webinar talking about the Kickstart sales strategy. I'm pretty sure previously we have several topics, uh, introduce you guys about Yaystar products, about Yaystar solutions. Uh, but eventually, we need to figure out if we're if we really need to start business with Yaystar. So is there any sales strategy? So I guess this is going to be a pretty good topic. Uh, so let's just talk about this today. All right. And uh, I'm going to get started. Let's check this out. So first of all, guys, you know, Yaystar, we are a manufacturer of the VoIP solution now, which is voice over IP solution. So in other words, we are just provide the IP uh, telephony solution to business users, right? So obviously, I'm going to focus on the telephony solution, but let's just check this first. So many years ago for your business model, maybe it could be something like this. All right. So this is what we had many years ago. Your business model, probably what you had is something like this, uh, like, like, uh, for example, if we're trying to provide this solution for your customers, and uh, I guess your business model will be very similar with this, uh, what I posted here. Uh, you can provide a network service, the network solution for your customers, obviously, and you can also provide telephony solution. Now, the point is, what really matters here is you're going to provide them two different systems, right? So if your telephony system is based on, I mean, the analog or digital, so that's totally a different system. I mean, comparing with your network service. So it's two different systems. You're, that's what you're going to provide it to them, right? So the point is this kind of solution, that's okay, but we get some issues. The first thing is it's real complex. I mean, think about it. If you get a project right now, your end users, your customers, they're looking for the whole comprehensive solution, including telephony and network. So of course you can provide the solutions to them, but it will be really complex. You need to figure out the telephony, you need to figure out the network service. It's just complex. And also this is really expensive. I mean, it's not so user friendly for end users. Uh, so for your customers, they're not so happy to have a solution like this. I mean, it's really expensive. So sometimes they probably just think about it. Uh, maybe this is not so necessary for me. Uh, I don't want a solution like that. So it's not so good for our business either. And uh, another thing is the features are very, lim are very limited, you know, especially the analog based system. So if we're going to provide an analog based telephony system to our end users, uh, features we can provide to them is very limited. If they want some advanced features, uh, you know, it's really expensive for them. They're going to need to pay the additional license fee. So it's not a, it's not a good idea. And uh, last point, now for you guys, the maintenance is gonna be another issue. Now, just like I said, when you try to set up the solution for your customers, that's complex. So of course, when you try to maintain the whole system, that will also be, uh, you know, tons of works are waiting for you. So it's not so good. This is what we had, but there's no more options, right? So many years ago, what we can provide to our customers, the solution is completely something like this. Now we're actually trying to figure out a better solution for our uh, for our customers. So something is the IP based solution. Now the IP based solution for telephony, you know, we call this as a VoIP, voice over IP. So exactly what is voice over IP? Now I guess we can talk about the VoIP by this topology. Uh, let's just think about it. What is VoIP? The voice over internet. So voice over internet, you know. For today's business users, for more than business users, everybody have internet service in their office. They have their local network service. Absolutely, everyone needs it. Uh, everyone needs it. So the voice over IP, actually, you know, we can use their local network. We can use the internet uh, plus their local network uh, to give them a telephony solution. You know, so for example, on this topology, we can use the local network, like a market here, uh, but the LAN, right? Local network. And they will be able to get a telephony system, which is IP based to PBX. So they can put the IP based to PBX in their local network instead of a telephony system. This is just the network system. And they will be able to register all of their extensions, right? So they can, they can get IP phones. They can also get some soft phones on their computer, on their mobile, on their laptop. And simultaneously, guess what? We're talking about the VoIP. So, you know, another thing is about the VoIP, which is the video conference. So, I mean, there's one possibility for us to provide a 
very comprehensive solution to our customers today because everything's based on IP. So we can provide you a telephony solution based on IP. We can also provide you a solution for your video conference. That's also for your voice plus the video, right? So this is uh, the voice over internet. And uh, actually, like I said, the uh, the voice solution is not just for your telephony. You can actually put everything together uh, because everything's based on IP. Just like I mentioned here, everything's IP based. So in other words, for you guys, for your business model will be more comprehensive. What you can provide to the end users is not just telephony system, not just PBX, or not just a router. You can actually provide everything what they want. Uh, for example, uh, we can we can provide a comprehensive solution with telephony system, which is the PBX. And simultaneously, you know, if you have a PBX, 100% sure you're going to need extensions. So we can also provide them lots of extensions, lots of IP phones. And now, uh, and definitely people, they have their computer, they have mobile, so we can also give them, you know, Yaystar Lancas UC application on their mobile, on their computer. And of course, we have video conference system. We can also put it in this local network. And what's more, guess what? Uh, for this IP basis solution, we can also take the IPC, you know, if you have IP cameras, uh, so we can also put the IPC, the cameras, we can also register those IPCs on our PBX, as an extension. So this solution will be very comprehensive, guys. They can work as a unity. And uh, not just IPC or extensions, you know, sometimes if you prefer to have a solution for, I guess, for a university campus, we can even provide them some, you know, SIP speakers, you know, the amplifiers, uh, which can support SIP protocol, that also works. So the solution will be very, you know, you can actually have a very diversified solutions for different customers, for different users. Okay, so that's the benefit we can get from the IP basis solution. Uh, that's uh, that, that's also the main reason why we have this webinar uh, to introduce you guys about the IP based the telephony solution. Okay, all right. So generally speaking, the IP based the telephony solution is kind of like we just put the network and the voice over internet protocol together, right? So the voice plus the network. So your solution will be very comprehensive. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys, your business model previously may uh, probably is mainly focused on the network. And uh, you do uh, you do want to start uh, a different business model with VoIP. So this is going to be an opportunity. Everything's IP based. So why not? Right. We've already have the network service for end users. And besides everyone, they need it. So if they're trying, if they're going to start a business, if they're going to start a company, absolutely, they need network and they need telephony. Uh, they need a PBX, so we can just put them together to provide them the comprehensive solution. Okay, uh, like I said, we can get several benefits. So let's just have a quick look here. Now, several benefits we can get from this completely new solution, the IP based solution, are uh, the first one is this is going to be a pretty good budget for end users. So end users, they will be pretty happy to have this completely new IP based solution. Uh, they don't have to spend too much money on it, but they will be able to have lots of features, lots of solutions, everything will be available for them. And besides, they will be able to have a better user experience. Everything's IP based, it's completely simplified. All right. And another thing is about the configuration, about the setup. So for you guys, you provide the solution to end users, you know, end users, they know nothing about the network, they know nothing about the telephony, so they will need your support. Now, everything's IP based. So if I'm a reseller, when I try to provide the solution for end users, I'll be very happy to provide a completely IP based solution. Uh, I don't need to spend too much time for configuration, uh, you know, for, for setup. Everything is just easy setup, easy for maintenance. Uh, I mean, less maintenance. I don't need to spend too much time on it. Uh, and also, another important point is going to be uh, diversity, like I posted here, the diversity, which basically means our business model will be very diversified uh, because I'm pretty sure for you guys, you have lots of products in your office. Uh, you're currently selling lots of products, not just PBX or router, maybe IPCs, maybe speakers, maybe, you know, uh, the door phones. So we can just put them together, make a bundle service, right? So kind of like many years ago, we just provide the hardware devices to end users. Well, for today, it's more like we provide service to them, right? A completely IP-based service 
for your business, for everything. You need a door phone, you need camera, you need uh, extensions, you need PBX, you need video conference. We can just make a package for everything, covers are everything. And of course, since I mentioned, we're gonna provide a comprehensive solution. So definitely you guys can get more margins, you can get more profits with no doubt. Okay, so now let's just, uh, I'm gonna introduce you guys about a Yaystar Voice solution, absolutely. Now about JSTOR solution, you know, we're just, uh, like I mentioned at the very beginning, we're just the original manufacturer for the VoIP solution. So which basically means you guys check on our product line, you will see that uh, our products is very specific. We just mainly focus on the SMB users telephony solution. And our products is just the hardware-based PBX, the IP PBX, and also the cloud-based IP PBX. But anyway, no matter this is uh, on-premise or this is on cloud, uh, they're all mainly focused on the SMB users, okay? Uh, and currently, the Yester Global Appearance is uh, we're the top three on-premise system provider in China and uh, in the world, we're top 10. So this is uh, our Global Appearance currently. And uh, the Yester team is also very professional currently. You know, we got uh, over 200 employees. We have 50% of our employees, they belong to the R&D department. And of course, we have local distributor. You guys can contact Strictway for sales information, for, you know, for if you need our help, need our support, you can just contact Strictway. And besides, in States, we also have tech support team. So you guys need our help, you can also send me the ticket. They're gonna handle it, okay? So for Yaystar solution, the SMB user solution, now our product is called the S-Series PBX. Uh, we have five different models, the S412, S20 for micro business users, S50, S100, S300, you know, for medium sized business users. Uh, they're all designed for SMB users with no doubt, and they're all completely IP based solution. So let's have a check here. Now, like I said, this is completely IP based solution, but it's also very user friendly for some, you know, the uh, the analog based system. That's also user friendly for it. Because pretty sure for small business users, some of them, they still have the landlines, they still have uh, analog phones or maybe ISDN channels in their office. So check on the specifications, you guys can see that. The S service PBX can also support the lint lives, the ISD and channels. And also if you have N off the phones, we can also make it work. Uh, because this hardware platform, it's uh, it's not just a simple box. It's more like a you know, custom system, which means you can use our modules to make a custom solution for end users. Now, just like I said, some small business users, some micro business users, uh, they do want to have an IP based solution, but they still have something left in their office, which is based on analog or ISDN, right? So our solution can be very flexible. Uh, what they're going to do is they can simply take our SRS PBX with the screwdriver. So they open this box, they can take our modules, plug and play. All right. So the hardware is completely modular designed. It's kind of like a kind of like a Lego. You can take modules, fix it in your system, plug and play, and you will be able to have a completely custom system for yourself. Okay. And about those modules, you know, uh, if you need FXS, you need FXO ports, we can just fix different modules for it. And also we have the expansion card for you know S100 and S300. So for a larger capacity system, you will be able to get EX08 card for module installation. And you will also be able to have this EX30 card for your you know, ISD channel. So if you wanna have E1 or T1 lines connected with your PBX, you can take the expansion card. Now, as for some small capacity system like S412, S20, S50, uh, we don't need to take the expansion card because they don't support expansion card. They just support the modules directly. So we can just take modules, plug and play. Now, as for what kind of modules do we have, uh, let's have a quick look here. Now about this customization, you know, if you have a brand new Yaystar PBX, that's just a pure IP solution, okay? You can just plug, plug, it, plug it in your local network and make it work directly. And if you prefer to have a custom solution, now, Let's check this. So we have S2 module for FXS, uh, which means if you need analog phones, you can take the S2 module, fix in your PBX, you get a two ports for your analog phones. And also we have O2 module. 
you will be able to have two FXO ports for your LAN lines. Now, if you have, you know, the uh, PSTN line, you can use this module. Uh, and we have the SO module, which can provide you, which can provide you one FXS and one FXO port. Uh, it's more flexible. So sometimes if you need an emergency solution, this is going to be a pretty good choice. Uh, you know, one line, uh, one port connect with your analog phone, another line, another port connect with your lint line. So if you lose the power supply on your PBX, you can still use that analog phone with this lint line uh, for making costs. That's an emergency solution. And by the way, we also have V2 module for BRI, but I guess it's not popular in states, so we can just skip it. Uh, and we have the mobile module. So you can also use your SIM card on your PBX uh, with the antenna for, you know, telecommunications, of course. And besides that, if you have 4G LTE modules, you can also use your 4G data for internet uh, service. Uh, that's kind of like a backup solution for your network. So generally speaking, with those modules, we can have a completely, you know, plug and play custom system. Okay. And another flexibility you can have on our Yaystar system is going to be the DSP module. Now, this module is available on the S100 and S300, uh, which means if you want to change the system capacity, you can take this module, fix it in your system. For your S100, you will be able to have maximum 200 users plus 60 concurrent costs uh, with one additional DSP module. Okay. And if you have S300, by default setting, you will have 300 users with a 60 concurrent cost. If you want to change the system capacity, you can take two DSP modules, then you will be able to have maximum 500 users with 120 concurrent cost. Uh, that's actually our you know, capacity on the s series PBX. Maximally what we can have, it's 500 users plus 120 concurrent cost, okay? So I guess the S100 and S300, uh, these two models can be a pretty good choice for some projects like university campus, like government, uh, like, like a bank. Okay, uh, another thing probably we may care about is what about features, right? So features, you know, now we're talking about the IP based solution. So it's completely different from the previous analog based solution. Now, you know, the analog based solution, it's uh, we can have a very basic system, telephone system with very limited features. If I wanted some additional features, uh, probably I need to spend lots of money to buy different licenses. It's really complex and expensive. Now on this IP based solution, it's not gonna be a big deal for end users. It's very user friendly. I mean, for end users, what they need, they can just get those box from your, from your side. Okay, so you guys can just take this box drop it in their office. Uh, you can help them to set up, you can help them to configure those features, those functionalities, make it work. And as for features, now all of these basic features are totally built-in features, IP-based system, so it's all built-in features. Uh, you don't have to get additional hardware or license, not necessary. You put this system in the local network, you're ready to go. So all the basic features are completely supported. There's no license charge. And users, they can just make it work directly. So what they need is just an IT specialist, right? Keep an IT manager in their office for the basic maintenance, for the basic configuration. Then they're just ready to go for everything. Okay. Now, for example, like the basic features, call recording. Okay, it's supported, no license charge. If they want an auto clip feature, they want to call pickup, they want to use DSA, fax to email music on hold uh, anyway all the basic features are completely supported no license charge now besides that on this ip based system we can also provide end users some additional features uh, some additional features we can have is like we can have the app center uh, what is app center now just like i mentioned before we can provide some solutions for projects uh we can also provide some solutions for vertical users so for vertical users you know they need a telephony solution, but simultaneously, they will also need something else to manage their system, like, like a hotel user. So if I'm a hotel owner, uh, of course, I need a telephony system, but simultaneously, I will also need a system to manage my you know, guest rooms. I get lots of rooms, so I need, a, I need a property management system, right? So in the app center, this is the answer. 
the answer for vertical users. If you're looking for a solution for vertical users, uh, just go accessing the App Center. Uh, it's kind of like a Google Play or App Store on your mobile. Uh, you will be able to use App Center on your PBX to expand the functionalities for the PBX to get some additional features. And those additional features will help you to provide the solution for verticals. Like we have the property management system supporting uh, application, which is called chart integration. So some customers, if they're uh, looking for the solution for profit management, which can support chart integration, well, this is the answer. And we can also provide another Yaystar application for hotel users, which is just called Yaystar Hotel Application. You can also use it directly on your BBX. It's a pretty good budget for, I guess, for some motel users. Uh, and for call center users, for example, they can also find the answer, which is QMetrix integration tool. You can also get it from here. Uh, and besides that, for basic business users, the App Center can also be very helpful. I mean, basic business users, uh, very fundamental business users, they don't need a they don't need a property management system. I guess they will, what they want is kind of like a CRM solution, right? So for basic business users, uh, if they access in the App Center, they can find we can support Zoho CRM integration directly. Now that's a cooperation, uh, official cooperation with Zoho actually. So which means end users, they can just jump into the App Center, get this Zoho integration application, and they're just ready to go for the Zoho integration. That's a pretty good solution to expand the functionality. Okay. Uh, and uh, what's more, we can also have a very specific solution for multiple offices. Uh, I'm pretty sure in the market you can find, uh, I mean, in the real case scenarios, there are some end users that are looking for the solution for multiple offices. Like they have a headquarter and they have several branch offices. And uh, because this is IT based solution, so as we know, it's not a big deal for us to figure out the interconnection by SIP trunking, right? So if I have three offices, 100% um, sure we can use the public network. We can just use the public network, create several SIP trunks, build the connection between those systems. That's okay. That's a very general way for us to make it work. But we provide a better solution to make it work, which is called multi-site interconnect. So for multiple offices, just try to make it simplified, all right? You don't have to create so many SIP trunk connections one by one. You can simply just enable this feature on your PBX. Now, one of your PBX, you can make it as the headquarter system and all of your branch office systems, they're gonna be able to register on the same headquarter PBX directly. And after that, they're completely connected with each other. So it's completely a simplified solution. It's a pretty good solution for multiple offices. And guess what? We're talking about the on-premise system, the hardware-based system. So everything's ip based and everything's hardware based so we also have a pretty good solution for you guys which is called remote management because you're going to provide the hardware systems to end users so after that the end users if they need your support if they have some questions they want to uh, you know make some modification honestly some of them they don't know how to how to do that so they will need your support now, the, the old fashioned mode is you're gonna visit their office, right? Probably you're gonna visit their office, help them to figure out what was happening there, kind of like that, right, for troubleshooting. Now today, Yaystar also have a specific solution for app to sales, which is remote management. So you guys can simply just register those s series PBX on your remote management platform. We're gonna provide you guys a user account for the pro, uh, remote management platform. And you can simply just register those hardware PDFs on this remote management platform. And guess what? This platform is gonna work as a 24 seven monitoring system. So it actually just tells you exactly what was happening on every single hardware system uh, in your end users offices. So you don't have to you know, check with them. You don't have to visit their office. You don't even have to call them if there's something bad happened. You can simply just stay in your office open your remote management account uh, the, this platform and this platform just it, it displays you everything what you need uh like the system status the cpu status the the trunk status everything has been displayed on the remote management platform 
So if, if there's something wrong happen, you can simply just click on your mouse. You can start this remote access directly. And the point is, guys, this remote management platform is hosted by Yaystar. Okay, so it's hosted by Yaystar. Uh, it's based on our cloud server. So when we try to build the remote control, uh, the remote control access to the end users PBX directly through the public network. Now that's it's it's hosted by Yaystar. So this remote access is, is completely covered by the encrypted private tunnel. You don't need to make port file wording to accessing their system directly. Now, which makes this is good for your security. It's better for security for end users and for your side. It's better for security. Okay. Uh, and the last one, uh, we can also provide the Lancus UC software. This is also available for end users. It, it, uh, I mean, for extension users. And this link is use the application is for free. So for extension users, it's very user friendly. Uh, everybody gets smartphone, they get a computer, so they can just access in Google Play or App Store, or they can visit Yaystar website, get this link as use the application directly. So it's a free app, very easy, very simplified. And then well, what they're going to do is they simply just turn their computer and their mobile as one of their extension, uh, register on their PBX. So this is, uh, like I said, the unified communication solution for that. Okay, uh, and another, I guess another benefit we can get from Yaystar solution is uh, our system can also provide a very good, uh, you know, the, uh, I guess it's a very, we have a very good compatibility on the Yaystar system. Uh, for example, for the auto provisioning feature, it is available, no license charge, and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have lots of options for IP phones. So some of you guys, maybe you're currently selling a link. Some of you guys may be currently selling some other phones like Vanvo, like Cisco. It doesn't matter. The point is, it doesn't matter. Just like I mentioned at the very beginning. Now, Yaystar system is IP based and Yaystar system got this phone provisioning. So <clears throat> you can provide a very comprehensive solution with cameras, with lots of IP phones. Uh, in other words, you can get lots of profits. Okay, that's the point. That's the point. And also we can <clears throat> and also we can support lots of different types of chunks, right? Like I mentioned before, so we can provide a pure IP basis solution uh, with lots of different SIP chunk providers. We can just uh, we have templates on our PBX. We can register SIP chunks on our PBX directly, support lots of ISP and uh <clears throat> We can also support the physical lines. So if we have the LAN lines, we have ISDN channels, that also works. Uh, and also we have solutions for vertical users, which I mentioned before. So we can provide the solution for call center users, uh, for hotel users, uh, for basic, basic business users, we have CRM integration. Now this is also available. So if you're trying to figure out the CRM integration on your PBX directly, now Zoho is a pretty good choice. Now, except for Zoho CRM, we can also support Salesforce, Dynamics 365. Uh, but the difference, the difference is <clears throat> Salesforce and Dynamics 365 uh, integration is not based on, and it's not based on the PBX. It's actually based on our Lancus UC application. Now, which means for end users, uh, they are not going to integrate Salesforce with the PBX. Instead, they're going to integrate the Salesforce with their Lancus UC application on their computer. But anyway, the features are very similar. Okay, the features are very similar. And I'm going to talk about this later. Uh, and we can also support API, uh, but API integration, it's, uh, it's kind of special. So if you're trying to, if you're looking for the API integration solution, it is only available on S50, S100, and S300. So for S412 and S20, these two models, they don't support API. Okay, but I guess for micro business users, it's not so necessary to have API integration. Uh, they don't need it. They just need a basic telephony solution. That's enough. Okay, and about the phone provisioning, guys, I just uh, post a list here. So for all these IP phones are totally supported by our auto provisioning feature. You can simply click on a mouse and you will be able to register all these IP phones on our PBX automatically. Okay. All right, let's talk about solutions. 
for solutions, the first thing I'm going to talk about here is going to be the Lancast UC application. All right. Now, this is our Yaystar application. You can find it on your Google Play, App Store. All platforms are supported. Now, the point is, this is a completely unified communication solution for end users. Uh, because previously, if there's no Lancast UC app, for end users, what they have with their telephony is just a PBX with a bunch of you know, IP files. So it's not a UC solution. What you can do is just, you can just have some basic call features. That's all, nothing special. But with our Lancast UC application, we can get more features. I mean, I mean, you know, lock into your computer's uh, you see client or you can use your mobile so you will be able to figure out your internal users presence that's very important for business collaboration and uh, of course we can support call control features with no doubt and call recording it's supported you can use link as mobile uh, for conference now that's a special feature you know uh, previously about the conference feature you're going to need to create a conference on your pbx then all of your users they need to call to the conference that's what we had before now with your link as mobile application you can just start a conference anywhere anytime that's pretty easy it's it's kind of like a random conference if you want to start a conference just go for it your internal users your external contacts you can just put them together drop the, drop them in the same conference as you wish and also we can support click to call features so this feature is available on the uh i guess it's web web store yeah Chrome Web Store. So you can just find Yaystar click to call in the Chrome Web Store. And after that, uh, you will be able to use click to call feature on your web page. Uh, for example, lots of uh, lots of the CRM system, I mean, for today are web based, right? So which basically means you have lots of contacts information are on your web browser because the CRM is web based. So now we have this click to call feature and when you try to call your contacts on the CRM, uh, you don't have to you know, copy those numbers and paste it in your link as UC application, that's complex. Today, you can simply just use click to call feature. If you wanna call them, click on it, send this call through the, uh, through the link as directly. Now that's a pretty good idea. And also we support instant message feature, of course. You can use your link as mobile, your link as PC client, uh, share documents with each other, start a group chat, completely support it. And besides, the CRM integration is also supported for your Lancas PC client. So on your Lancas PC client, you can support, uh, about the CRM integration, we can support Salesforce, Dynamics 365, uh, Google Contacts, and also the Outlook. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Another solution we can have with this Yaystar system is, like I said before, our system is uh, totally customizable, right? You can use modules, uh, have a custom s solution. So <clears throat> for micro business users, I guess this is also very user friendly because they have some Lexus system in their office. And um, I'm pretty sure those Lexus system is uh, has a very good quality. Uh, for example, the Panasonic or maybe NEC anyway, I mean, Lexus systems is pretty good. Honestly, guys, they have a very good quality. So for some user, for some customers, I, I, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna drop the old system directly. They prefer to have a more, more, uh, more like a hybrid solution or, or you know, comprehensive solution. So we can just drop our Yaystar system in their office directly, and we can use the cable, plug and play with their Lexus system, with no doubt. Uh, if you have if you have FXS port, we can get an FXO port here, so we can connect it, right? And on the other hand, you know, totally we need a network service, so we can put the Yaystar system in this local network directly. So we're gonna have a hybrid solution for everything, right? So we can keep your Lexus system alive, and simultaneously, we're gonna provide you a IP-based solution. And now you will be able to put your, you know, PBX, your cameras, your video conference system, your do door phone together, uh, and even together with your Lexus phone system. That's the that's the comprehensive solution what I mentioned before. Okay, and also we can use this basic feature, which is zip trunking, to solve some issues for some projects. Like uh, I guess this is, can be a popular solution for maybe university campus. 
the university campus, they have uh, several buildings, so they can use the SIP trunking feature, right? Uh, everything is IP based, so we can just use the internet, create a SIP trunk between two PBX, then they will be able to have a high quality cost uh, first. And secondly, they will be able to, you know, doubt each other's extensions directly. They don't have to figure out, you know, the, the Dell pattern or something, they can just call the extension directly. Uh, and the most important thing here is this is IP based solution. So it's free cost, right? They don't have to spend any money for, for this, you know, two different offices, internal costs, uh, and also IP based solution, less maintenance. Okay. Uh, and another solution, I guess, is very important, very popular for today's business users is going to be the UC solution. Absolutely. So our Yaze or UC solution can be simplified like this. Now we have the S-Series PBX, it's completely IP-based solution, plus our Lancus Unified Communication application on your mobile and your computer. And don't forget, we have click-to-call feature, we can support CRM integration, right? So now you can just grab your mobile, take your computer with our PBX to call your contacts on your CRM directly. And if you have an incoming call from your CRM contacts, you're gonna be able to have the incoming call pop-ups with no doubt. Let's have a check one by one. So once we figure out the link as registration on your PBX, plus the click to call feature, plus the CRM integration, and uh, the features can be simplified like this. So if you have an incoming call from your contacts, I mean your CRM contacts, absolutely you're gonna get a call, in incoming call pop-ups, right? And secondly is we're gonna, you know, the call journal will be synchronized with no doubt because, you know, this is the integration between the telephony and the CRM. And if we're trying to call your contacts, the click to, there's a click to call feature. Click on it, you're ready to go. Okay, so for the business scenarios, I guess we can use this unified communication solutions for different scenarios. Like we can use it for basic, very basic business users, their daily work. Like they are going to manage their, you know, contacts on the CRM, so they can just go ahead. No matter you're trying to handle incoming calls where you're trying to call them, you can just go for it. And another thing is we can use this for collaboration. You know, like you have. Uh, several contacts on your mailbox. Let's see in your mailbox if you want to call them, uh, for example, like Outlook or maybe Zoho, you, you're, you're trying to call them, oh, there's a click to call feature, right? So you don't have to grab your phone or, you know, dial numbers, you can just click on it, make the call going through directly. Uh, and we can also provide this solution for a scenario of customer service, right? So customer service, uh, like a tech support, you have lots of customers information in the list. So if you're going to contact them, go for it. And guess what? Even for human resource management, this is also going to be a pretty good solution, you know, unified communication solution. You know, for HR manager, if you're trying to call your candidates right now and you're out of the office, well, you can just grab your mobile, right? You have Lancus on your mobile. And if you're staying in your office right now, uh, you're just checking your your candidates in the in the in the HR management system, well, you can also click to call, right? So it's very flexible. Okay, and the last one, I guess, for the hardware basis solution we're gonna talk about here is going to be remote management. So guys, what is remote management? Uh, the remote management is actually available as a service for Yaster partners. So, which means if you guys join the Yaster community, uh, be a part of Yaster community, so you will be able to to have a Yaster partner portal access. We're going to give you guys a user account for this partner portal access. Then you will be able to jump into your partner portal, and you can find we have a value added service which is called remote management. So you click on it, you just go for your remote management platform, and this platform is just available for our Yaster partners. And the benefits you can get from this remote management is you will be able to solve your after-sales issue, after-sales service issue directly by this remote management. I mean, think about it. Uh, traditionally, if we're gonna provide the after-sales service to end users, I mean, sometimes, I mean, honestly, we don't wanna do it you know, spend your time, spend your money, but you have to do it. That's your obligation. This is your customers, right? 
So you need to spend a, lots of time on it. Uh, maybe you're gonna need to visit their office, try to do troubleshooting, but it's not a big deal, but you need to spend your time. Now, you can use the remote management. You just stay in your office, okay? And uh, build the connection. Just build the connection between the hardware system and this remote management platform. And then this platform, we get a dashboard on the platform. So this dashboard tells you everything. Tells you the hardware performance, the SIP trunk performance, uh, everything is it's just very clear. So if there's something happened on the end user side, uh, you don't have to call them. You don't have to visit their office. You can start a remote access through this platform directly. So that's very convenient for you. And because I just mentioned the uh, remote access, so probably some of you guys may worry about, what about the security of this remote access? Well, you know, for remote access, uh, previously our solution, probably we were going to use TeamViewer, right? A very professional solution. But the point is TeamViewer is really expensive. Now, Yester Remote Management is a pretty good budget. It's not so expensive. It's a very good budget. Uh, and about the security, this is hosted by Yester. So that remote access is completely covered by the encrypted private tunnel. It's also good for security. There's no need for port file wording, for static public IP address, not necessary. It's completely encrypted. So that's the benefits we can get from this remote management. Okay. All right. Uh, generally speaking, guys, the Yaystar solution, Yaystar PBX, we can put this Yaystar Asterisk PBX in lots of different circumstances, different scenarios, uh, just like I mentioned at the very beginning, because everything's IP-based. So our solution will not just be a completely uh, you know, IP telephony. Actually, we can put lots of things together to provide a comprehensive solution for different customers, for different scenarios, like for education area, for university, we can provide them the Yaystar PBX plus a SIP speakers if they need broadcast the system. You know, we can use our feature, which is paging group. So we can put those SIP speakers, the amplifiers in the campus for the broadcast. Uh, and also we can fix the IPCs, you know, the, the cameras, I mean, the IPCs, the IP cameras in, their, in the university campus for the security, that's also supported, right? And uh, for hospitality, uh, we can choose the something like S100 or S300, larger, larger capacity system. Uh, for example, like S300, we can support 500 users plus 120 concurrent costs. Uh, that will be a pretty good solution for hospitality. Uh, and also for, I mean, for big hotel, for some big hotel. Now for small hotel, they can choose our S50 or S100 plus our hotel application. It's a pretty good budget. It's not so expensive, but it's really functional. And for government, for healthcare, absolutely. This is something similar. Uh, also, you know, sometimes even for warehouse, like a warehouse. Uh, so for warehouse, uh, they can fix our PBX there and they can take door fails, they can fix IPCs. Uh, everything's IP based, just like I mentioned at the very beginning. It's a completely comprehensive solution. Okay. And uh, the last part for my webinar today, guys, I'm going to talk about our Yaystar services. So for Yaystar services, let's have a check. Now, what we can provide you guys is we give you guys free tech support. Absolutely. So if you guys need our help, need our support, it's all for free. Okay. Just visit our website or visit our support portal, which is support.yaystar.com. Uh, or you guys can contact Strickwave if you need our help. Not a problem. And also we give you guys the training support. Now we have Yaystar Academy. So if you wanna join the Yaystar training for technical training or even sales training, we do provide it. So it's a certified training. If you pass the test, we're gonna give you Yaystar certificate. Uh, and we have this Yaystar Pana portal. It's, uh, it's kind of like a special service for Yaystar Punners. So once you become a Yaystar partner, we're gonna give you this partner portal. We just activated for you and you will be able to get your value added service on it. Now the value added service including, uh, includes the Yaystar remote management and also Lancus cloud service. Uh, that's another value added service, uh, which means you guys can get more margins with it. Uh, now, anyway, it's all available on the Yaystar partner portal. Okay, so this is actually, uh, the Yaystar Pana portal. 
what does it look like? So have a quick look here. You will be able to get all the free access for Yaystar support, for Yaystar training, and uh, for marketing support. It's also available here. It's all for free. And for the value added service, if you are going to purchase the Lancaster Cloud Service or remote management, just go ahead. This is the place and uh, with the special price, with the promotion price, of course. And if you need our support, need our service, just go for the Pound Portal directly. Okay. All right, guys, I guess that was all we have for today's webinar. And uh, once again, thank you so much for your time. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know, all right? And uh, by the way, if you need our support, need more information, need more updates, uh, just don't forget to contact Drake Wave.